Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War II World at War. This episode is brought to you by Pumnorau. Let's uh, continue and take a look at which things still need to be done because basically these guys just landed there, that's okay. I'm probably just going to get a, a couple of garrisons. Um, oh, right, you cannot attack. Yeah, you can't get there. Well, let's not yet attack those guys. have to reinforce them here. I haven't bombed here yet. Or uh, I should set them to escort then if I want to do that. But the range is not particularly great. Let's just move closer. Getting the HQ mobility does not immediately help me. Only one point. Look like that. No. Let's see. Because, like I said before, I cannot use those harbors. That's a due to interception mode because. I cannot really do a whole lot else there. And I cannot use those ports. That's kind of it. You've all moved. I think I've taken care of business here too. Almost. That's it. I've taken care of that. So there's nothing to be done there. Spain. Let's invest. That's the maximum for them, and I guess the other one will go in Sweden then. I could still spend some points for the Germans, so let's take a look at the research first. Let's try to get these to five. And then we have 140 left, or 54. 
Spying and intelligence gives me more breakthroughs, so that should be okay. Next, Japan. They're really suffering in terms of MPP now. Even with the additional stuff I'm getting. It is just uh, not not amazing. Well. I don't really have any forces to, well, let's see first over here. So, they're having good supply right now, that's nice. Really? I think the sound is a bit too high. Not that this gives you all that much, but now at the very least... That has been taken care of. Um, What surprises me so much is that I actually cannot damage this there. Not even in the, the slightest. I'm just not sure what the reason is. Like, uh. It just seems a bit weird to me that the damage is so low. But I'm sending a bunch of guys, I guess, out to capture Batavia. And hopefully get the oil through there. It does mean that once again, I'll be short on stuff here. But since it seems like the front line is frozen as well, because this is the time to invest in to some repairs.
Mm, yeah. It's pretty unfortunate. And I cannot move towards Rangoon this way either. I also don't have the MPPs to re repair my planes, so... It, it is rather a big problem, the fact that I have, that I have so little MPPs here. Um, I don't remember it being that problematic in uh, when I was playing on easy <laughs> or at least regular difficulty let's just call it that Persia is uh, quite far down the line to getting into Soviet uh, diplomacy. Anyway, I c can no longer even buy garrisons for them. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'll have to save my points then. Um, that's it. There's nothing else I can do. Except zoom in. Australia mobilized its home defenses. Fine. Yay. Okay, sweet. Hmm. The, uh, basically the only area where... Okay, that, that was actually surprisingly decent so far. seems to be having some strange movement. I don't expect them to be able to move through to crack off, but... Well, uh, we'll see how things go, so... We're holding the line and we're getting more troops every turn. I can cut these guys off hopefully soon. It's kind of weird because the movement for these guys, now they're fleet moving, but... Okay. Strategic bombing in Aleppo and Damascus, well... I'll take it. I won't take that. Holy cow. <laughs> this really starts getting absurd though. Like two and three damage for from an artillery. Did I not repair them? Wait, did I completely forget about those guys?
I, uh, hmm. I guess I must have forgotten. It's been a while since I played this. Okay, actually, I don't, I don't think it was smart to not have unit on the Philippines. Because if they get a partisan there... Can I just please at least stop it with the BS on this insane vision? Oh. Normandy Ocean Liner sinks and better hope that that army can be repurchased. To ensure Axis victory in, in the decisive conflict in the East would be advisable for us to send an expeditionary force to serve along our German allies. Given our approval, the force will consist of headquarters units and two corps, and will cost us 400 MPPs at 40 MPPs to turn for 10 turns and deploy near Warsaw for service on the Eastern Front. Yes, let's do it. That's it, huh? Okay, luckily I can buy them back. And I will. Okay, so we start attacking there. Uh, that would not be a good attack. Let's just repair them. I guess we need to finish. Have these guys first that Marcy were true, but we'll see how things go. Okay. I don't think that's a, a very good <laughs> place to put you that. Yeah, let, let's just reinforce you for now. And that will stop those guys from flipping.
Yeah, these these are a bit of a problem. They might retreat though, and then they'll put these guys back behind the defenses. I can, I can see them do that. <clears throat> okay. Out here. Let's first finish off the light cruiser. And also the Dutch light cruiser. I'm sure that doesn't really help a whole lot. Now, yeah, this really sucks, but otherwise they will take this. Mm. And that would just be very silly. So yeah, let's just take this and the other oil field. That is, I guess, the the most important thing here. I probably won't be able to get Batavia in one go, which is fine. <clears throat> Vision is also very poor currently. And I cannot see whether there's something out there. What I don't get is why I don't get the supplies, basically, from Brunei. Because this does, for whatever reason, are, are not actually working. Maybe it has to do with Kuching. Let's just take this too, so we can also grab this uh, this oil from this side. <clears throat> and... Let's just move down for now. taking Singapore either yet because again I don't have the resources to <clears throat> really try to go after it there's one thing that I want to try though and that is the following so if I declare on Just New Guinea. No, 
Uh. Am I already at war with New Guinea? Yeah, I am. Never mind. <clears throat> I guess I'll uh, I'll move on and I'll probably try to take this then. See more. It's still some. Unless I get destroyed, but we'll see about that. I need to think about a few things there. Let's let's take a look here first. So apparently we're still suffering from the Eastern Front is having a bad day. I mean, I guess it's the winter. Sure. Okay. I have no clue where they're gonna try to to go, but uh, I don't think they'll get that far actually this way. Let's just send them down there because that's just kind of where I really need them as well. And there. And... You there? Upgrade the fighters, that might help a little bit. Ok, 
get these guys out. I'll actually purchase a, a garrison uh, in order to help out here, for example. Really? I, didn't I send it to manual? I can't do it this turn. Alright, so at least we have a somewhat stable front now. They got someone into Romania, but this is an unsustainable attack, I suppose. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we did take care of this. To, it's still a bit dicey, but with these planes being now under threat, okay, that is uh, quite different odds from what we saw before. Italians finally started researching infantry weapons level 1 to make them somewhat useful. Going back to this, I will wrap things up in a, the next video. Uh, yeah, I guess I will. Um, Gonna thank you for watching. Do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. With a special shout out to my Patreon supporters: Pumnarau, Tillysvan 555, Mandingo, Thomas Love Trillin, Swords, Serbadescu Sebi, C Data, and Thomas B Marshall. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.